Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. Today's video is all about something new by Pack Cosmetic. But personally, when I see this product, it is more of a relaunch of an existing product into a new packaging, new set of shades, pricing, as well as the formula. So here I happen to grab the new Pack Cosmetic Studio HD Liquid Foundation. Yes. I happened to buy this foundation almost after a week of the launch reason being I was not able to decide on the shade because I knew my older shade in the same foundation category but yes pack has completely changed everything on this foundation so it is new with new set of shades and yes without making this intro any more longer let's just dive into this new foundation. I get into the foundation do let me know how do you find the look of the day if you really like it and if you want me to recreate it i will definitely do that for you because it's very simple and easy to create yes very simple and easy you can create this look in less than 10 minutes yes now jumping on to the foundation the foundation is going to cost you rupees 995 rupees you get 23 shades to choose from and you get 28 ml of product yes 28 ml of product quickly jumping on to the packaging of the product so this is how the product would arrive in a cardboard box with all the details mentioned and the shade number mentioned right here and uh, some basic details like spirey manufacturing all that will be mentioned on this sticker as well and the shade you buy is being basically printed here does not match the shade but very close to the shade you're buying so yes, I really like this cardboard packaging. It is pretty different from the older pack studio uh, uh, packaging we used to we used to get this hard cardboard round box. I felt it was a complete waste. Why do we need it? So yes, packaging, this is fine. We will remove the foundation. We'll throw this away because it's of no use. So less is better. So quickly jumping on to the foundation. So this is how the pack HD foundation would come. Very nice glass bottle packaging, a nice cap. You open it, you have the pump right there and the shade number written behind the bottle. Other than that, nothing is mentioned. The amount of product you get here is mentioned is 28 ml. But sadly, the expiry date is not mentioned. So I'm really not happy about that. Other than that, everything is absolutely perfect here. Still, brand would get 9 out of 10 because of that one expiry. The formula on the foundation is radiant matte finish yes it is radiant i've been wearing this foundation close to i think now from the law i don't even remember when did i buy this foundation so it is almost a month and i have tried this foundation with various other products of mine this is how i get to a point where i feel that i can review a product so i do agree with the brand that the formula is matte but it has a kind of radiance to it which you will see during my application as well which makes you feel more comfortable with the foundation so since the foundation is comfortable you will feel that you are not wearing a foundation you will feel that a base which is going on to your skin is more like your second skin now talking about the buildability of the foundation i really like both the application the blender as well as the brush now i'm not a person who goes in with a brush application all the time but the, with these kind of foundations i like to go in with a blender application but one thing which i always noticed with pack foundation earlier also that with brush application you get an even base a lot of correction happens while you're blending with a brush but with the blender you tend to not cover those imperfections really well you have to go with an extra foundation so when i was blending my foundation on one side i used the blender and one side i used the brush and you could you can tell that yes brush side was much more smooth and much more perfected than my blender side thereafter i go in with another half a pump to cover up my other side of the face that is the blender side and that's how i achieve this look though the whole purpose of doing the blender and brush was the second application of the foundation so you can build up this foundation so if you feel that one layer of foundation on the face is not enough you can go with the second layer that's it stop it there or else you will start to feel a little heavy with the foundation because ultimately at the end of the day it is a foundation so yes it is definitely buildable how what kind of coverage will you get with this 
so it is medium to full coverage so you can even have like a skin like finish means wherein you don't want to show that you're wearing a foundation or wherein you personally feel that i just need a little bit of foundation here and there like a skin tint that also can be achieved with this foundation even a full coverage application can be achieved with this foundation so both the coverages you can get with this foundation the foundation is definitely smudge proof yes it does not budge during the day it stays as you lay it so the first application shine which you see thereafter whatever products do you lay on and you have a full face of makeup that's how your foundation is going to look even after 6 to 7 hours if you have a oily skin it has a capability of basically not showing up your sebum very quickly so with me i have gone with a like a very light powder touch up after like 7 to 8 hours i remember i just did tap 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 and done i really did not had to do a complete touch up to fix my face so the foundation really doesn't budge or smudge during the day before i talk a little more about the foundation my shade 3.0 matches me perfectly well so i was really skeptical when i was getting this shade because i was scared because i was spending 995 rupees and then i was like if i don't get my shade right then i'll be really disheartened yes so i am really happy that it matches me to the point so i am nc42 it is the perfect match to nc42 so if you are someone nc42 and of my skin tone who matches herself with my shades then you can definitely grab this one further does it oxidize now i don't feel any kind of oxidization with this foundation onto my skin i do feel it just blends into my skin tone and by the days the as the hour goes by the foundation still sits perfectly because there are a lot of foundations or my skin basically oxidizes the foundation to a lighter shade but i feel the shade itself sits perfectly and further it does not oxidize to anything so with me i have not seen any kind of oxidization now brand claims that this foundation is made for all skin type yes i do feel it is made for all skin type because it worked beautifully on to my skin in extreme winters still winters are here but thoda sunny bhi hai jaise abhi dhoop nikli hui hai so i am filming the video and my skin still looks perfect so it is already 3 o'clock in the afternoon i did my makeup at 1 i think 1 o'clock and i have not done any sort of touch up on to my face not even my lipstick and everything has sat really well quickly mentioning few more important things the brand claims that this foundation can stay up to 18 hours onto your skin personally speaking i have worn this foundation close to 12 hours only i'm not more this foundation more than 12 hours if i talk about 12 hours stay it stays absolutely wonderful it is a sweat proof foundation water sweat proof me water resistant sweat resistant and humidity resistant foundation hai so yes agar aapki extreme oily skin bhi hai to ye thoda control karega aapke sebum ko and thereafter after some hours you need to go in with like light touch up and you are done all in all i really like the consistency of the foundation it is not super thick it's not super runny so you can work out the product it does not dry super quick Now before I give you my final thoughts quickly mentioning few important things about the foundation first up is that this foundation is going to stay up to 18 hours brand claims I have tested its foundation for 12 hours now for me being a combination to oily skin I had to go with one touch up that too with a basic powder onto my T zone area this portion and I was done so not major touch up i had to do and the foundation was pick and span and it was looking as flawless as i had laid it in the morning so the foundation is water sweat and humidity resistant so be rest assured in summers you can use this foundation without any fear because this is definitely going to stay longer onto the skin you may have to go with that light touch up otherwise this foundation is good to go in all weathers this foundation is not even going to make you feel that your pores are feeling clogged and it does not enhance the texture of your skin so in the past i've reviewed few foundations i do feel some of the foundation in winter weather or extreme cold weather tend to and you know accentuate my skin textures which i am not 
technically seeing with my bare eyes but the foundation is doing it for me but this foundation for my surprise in extreme winters it has worked magically onto my skin and in no way it has ever enhanced or accentuated my textures of the skin so there you know all about this product i will be leaving everything in my description if you are eager to purchase one for yourself if you really loved watching today's video consider giving the thumbs up subscribe to my channel and follow me on my instagram at the rate bronzing geek 5 i will see you in another video till then you take care and ta-da! Oh